Hey everyone, welcome back to more political chatter. In this video, we will be talking about the 2022 Wisconsin gubernatorial election. Now, um, this is one that uh, I have stood by my uh, prediction for quite a while now. Um, I can't really remember the last time I had it going to Tony Evers, the incumbent. I do believe that Tim Michaels will oust Tony Evers as governor of, of Wisconsin. I believe that he will become the next governor of Wisconsin. I think that Tim Michaels is a fine candidate for Wisconsin. He is a business owner. To win the state of Wisconsin, you have to win the white working class. And uh, as Michaels is so involved with the economy, he can challenge Tony Evers on the economy. He can call him out on it. He could um, you know, promote himself, saying how he is a business owner, and that would appeal to the white working class, whose um, main issue in 2022 is the economy. That is what they, they are basing their vote off of. So, uh, I really do see Tim Michaels as a guy who has been endorsed by Trump and will easily win that Trump base, but also as someone who comes across as a bit more moderate than Trump, not so much more moderate, but more so acceptable than Donald Trump, less extreme than Donald Trump, you know, just more acceptable to the white working class, which went to Biden in 2020. And Tony Evers is not very popular. He was only elected in 2018 because it was such a blue wave year and Trump was so unpopular. But now the roles have changed. Joe Biden is the president now and he is extremely unpopular. Wisconsin especially. A state that voted for him by less than 1%. So, therefore, if we're using the same logic as we had in 2018 with Evers winning because Trump was unpopular, then Michaels will win in 2022 because, uh because Joe Biden is unpopular. Um, um, just looking at the Republican primary, I do believe that Rebecca Cleefish would have been a slightly better candidate. I just think that uh, you she's much more moderate than Tim Michaels, and she would have done better with independent voters in Wisconsin. I believe that she would have been a better candidate. But regardless, Tim Michaels will win against Tony Evers. And as I was saying, Tony Evers is not popular um, at all. I mean, he... He is, um, and we'll get to all the polls and stuff, but uh, Tony Evers is seen as a typical Democrat in 2022. Liberal, bad with the economy. It, you know, he's just like your uh, classic Democrat in 2022. And in Wisconsin, a moderate to conservative state, you cannot have someone like that as the gubernatorial candidate. The Senate candidate is one thing, but as the gubernatorial candidate... Uh, voters are going to reject that as voters are more nonpartisan on the gubernatorial level. A lot of um, Democrats will be, uh, more moderate Democrats will be discouraged to vote because they don't approve of Tony Evers. Looking at 538, they have Tony Evers um, uh, in the lead in Wisconsin's gubernatorial election. I find this outrageous. You all know I hate 538, and I just wanted to bring this up a because of how absurd it is. I mean, Tony Evers is not favored to win this election. And it's not just my opinion. We will be going through math for this election using 2020 polls because 2020 polls were absurd. So what 538 does, gathers all the polls, um, does the average, and apparently they say Tony Evers has a 54% chance of winning and Tim Michaels has a 46% chance of winning. These are the these are all the polls here. I disagree with this so much. I would give Tim Michaels at least a fifty five percent chance of winning. I would give Tim Michaels a sixty percent chance of winning, and Tony Evers a forty percent chance. I really do not see Tony Evers winning. Now let's look at this. This is important, guys. Look, th these are the Wisconsin polls from the twenty twenty election. 270 to win. This poll was taken um, in early November. The election was November 3rd. Wait. Yeah, it was November 3rd. It showed Biden with a 9.2% lead. RCP, November 3rd, showed Biden with a 6.7% lead. 538, which we are using right now. 538 had Biden ahead by 8.4% on election day, the average being 
guys, Biden won by like 0.6 here. 0.6. The polls were off by like 7%, even more than 7% in 2020. 7%, that's insane. Those were the 2016 margins of errors. And they failed once again. Polls failed once again in 2020 in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, in the Rust Belt. In the important swing states, polls failed once again, including 538. So, 538, um, and we could get to the polls here, um, more specific polls. Um, I don't think 538 has released any. But look at these polls. If Tony Evers is leading by or is leading by 4% in this newest poll and the margin of error was around 7, even more than 7 in 2020, then Tim Michaels will win by 3 if we're using that logic. If he's winning by 2 in this poll, then Tim Michaels will win by 5. Marquette University Shows him leading by five. Michaels will win by two if we use the 2020 margin of error. Polls in Wisconsin were wrong in 2016. They were wrong in 2020. Why should they be right in 2022? They are not. They are dead wrong. And it is absurd to say that Tony Evers has a 54% chance of winning when they said that Biden would win by 8.4 in 2020. Okay? Um, and we see it has narrowed up, and that's just because the generic ballot, or, um, or, sorry, the generic ballot is, um, favoring the Republicans now, lately, and, um, things have been getting worse for Democrats, and I hope this does narrow up, it's on track to narrow up even more on 538, but it better, because that is insane to say, like, at one point that they, they had him leading, um, they had him with an 80% chance of winning. So, main takeaway is that Tony Evers is not winning. And polls are dead wrong, once again, in the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin polls just suck. Tony Evers is not winning. Tim Michaels, I believe, is an exceptional candidate, a very acceptable candidate to Wisconsin voters. I do believe that he will pull out a win. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to comment uh, videos that you want to see on my channel um, in the comments, of course. I would really like to hear, give me a race that you want to wa- that you want to see a video on. Just do it. No one ever does. I haven't gotten it once, and I've been saying this for like 100 videos now. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.